My name is Uday Singh. I come from Hisar, a small city in northwest India, from the state of Haryana. I came to Russia six years ago to do my bachelor's here, and I fell in love with this land. Traveling, seeing places is my thing, but what really drives me is all the military stuff. For my first destination, I chose Kurgan city, where they make infantry combat vehicles, aka the BMP. Well, we're finally in the plane, we're headed to Kurgan. It's 8 a.m. and I slept like two hours. It's, it's awful, but it's gonna be worth it. There was no direct flight to Kurgan, so we had to fly to Tumen instead. And from there, we took a cab to the final destination. Kurgan is called the Gate to Siberia. The thing is, it's neither in the Ural region nor in Siberia. It's right in between. It has an interesting mix of population. Ukrainians, Belarusians and Russians have all met here during the Second World War. Moved here to support the military industrial complex. It was far away from the front line and the region is rich in raw materials. The factories that produced the weaponry back then are still in operation and the BMP-3 is what I came here for. The BMP-3 is an infantry fighting vehicle. It was adopted in the Soviet Army back in 1987. It provides overwhelming fire support for the troops and at the same time delivers up to seven personnel to the battlefield under any condition. It doesn't matter if there is ice, water or sand. There is no hurdle too difficult for it to cross in order to fulfill its mission. Well, we're finally headed out to the fields. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. We're gonna go out and test this machine out in the wilderness, how it performs on the water, on the hills. This is the best feeling of my life. Move out of the way! Woo! The weapon system consists of a 100mm 2A72 semi-automatic rifled main gun slash missile launcher, 30mm 2A72 autocannon and three 7.62mm machine guns. The main gun can fire high explosive frag rounds and anti-tank guided missiles. It has a rate of fire of 10 rounds a minute up to a distance of 4000 meters depending on the ammo used. Probably it has the biggest cannon place on a mass produced infantry fighting vehicle. It was actually like a light tank because it has a huge 100mm main gun. Just for perspective the American M1 Abrams main battle tank at the time had a 105mm main gun. Well, we just arrived to the rendezvous point and the ride was crazy. It was a really bumpy road. It wasn't even a road, it was like an off dirt track and the BMP just crushed it. It was super bumpy. It was like, it was like this and we just went through like it was nothing. Andrucha, давай. So how the BMP-3 operates in real battle-like conditions. After shooting at the enemy positions, it launches smoke grenades that create a huge smoke screen to hide its position from the enemy and then reposition itself somewhere else to safety. Do you see the huge smoke screen that it launched? I can't see nothing beyond the smoke screen. That's beautiful, at the same time, amazing. Finally gonna go inside and see our next location. Ah, and see what else this BMP can do. All right, hey, what did that do? <laughs>
I finally get a chance to actually drive this thing. I don't know how they let me do this, but this is gonna be fun. I hope I don't crash anything. I hope I don't break anything. I mean, it's, it's a very low chance that I'll break this, but anything else that's on the field, that's just, that's just open game. The beast that powers the BMP3 is a multi-fuel V10 pumping out 500 horsepower that can speed it up to 70 km per hour on road and up to 45 km an hour off road depending on the terrain. It has a state of the art semi-automatic hydromechanical transmission making it a pleasure to drive. It also has dedicated water jet propellers for when it's gliding over water bodies. It was the best ride of my life. It went so smooth. It was unbelievable. It's like we're going on water, we're just floating. And I can't, I can't really describe this experience because it's the most unique experience. You need to find the right words to describe it and you still won't do justice. I'm just addicted to it, really. When I was sitting on the passenger side earlier, I thought I was gonna die. Even for a first time driver, this was amazing. Like, it was so easy and so simple to drive, but at the same time, you need to have the sense of balance in order not to go off the road. Just like in a motorcycle, actually, because the handlebars are similar to that of a motorcycle. We just finished fire testing the BMP3 and it was really insane inside. Uh, when the first time the big cannon started firing, I literally thought something blew up and I swear my brain moved inside and I'm still shaking from this experience. All right guys, now finally, now let me shoot from the main gun and the auto gun. I'm not ready for this because when the first time I was sitting over there and they fired it, I've just been given instructions on how to aim. There's a, there's a TV television screen on my left on which I aim. Now I'm going to start with a 30 millimeter. I'm aiming right above the, on the roof of the car. to the 100 millimeter to the main gun. Let's see how that goes. I'm aiming that. <laughs> Perfect landing. <laughs> well, I only had I only had one shot. I was mentally ready, I knew what to expect, and that was the only reason that I handled the situation. I've never fired such a gun before in my life, obviously. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not a soldier, I'm not a tankist. Um, 
but it was a great it was a great feeling Guys, we were able to meet the chief designer of Kurgan Mars Savod. He's the one who designed, I think, all the latest modifications. Уникальная машина BMP3. Она создавалась как для всех подразделений, то есть как и для сухопутных войск, так и для морской пехоты. Вот, она может у нас преодолевать водные преграды с волнением до трех баллов, а стрелять еще при волнении два балла. То есть аналогов нет. Аналогов по комплексу вооружений нет. То есть это единственная машина с таким комплексом вооружений. А почка это тоже курган марш завод? Нет, Или боевое другой? отделение, вот это, это mm -hmm. наша кооперация с предприятиями Ростеха. То, То есть, есть это Ростех участвовал? Да, на... это участвовал Ростех. Понял. Есть, в частности, это НПО электромашина, город Челябинск производит данные изделия. купила у кругам марш завода бмп-3 а они уже купили бмп-3 да, они уже эксплуатируют бмп-3 и в принципе в эксплуатации бмп-3 их довольно таки хорошо устраивает то есть по качеству по э, вооружению и по всем параметрам у них сейчас состоит на вооружении бтр 50 старая модификация то есть бронетранспортеров и пришло время заменить морально устаревшие бронетранспортеры на более современные то есть как бы э, изделия Да. А вы участвовали в этот э, как Создали. главный конструктор? Да, конечно. То есть это, по сути дела, создано под моим руководством изделие. Let's gonna try this beer. Now in Russian, beer is called pivo. And this is filtered light beer. It's pretty good, not too bad. I mean, I tried similar beer actually back in Holland. Uh, it was a very old brewery from the 15th century. It tastes very similar. I mean, this is also quite an old brewery. It's from 20th century, even before the revolution. And it's pretty good. Good beer. Как вам пиво? Очень даже, чтобы очень. Вкусно? Очень даже. Давайте, на здоровье. Очень вкусненькое, пенное, короче. Пейте пиво и пенное, морда будет это самое. Ширше этого, плеч. We're gonna put subtitles for you underneath. <laughs> I told you about the Ukrainian, Belarusian and the Western Russian populations living in Kurgan and they have their own peculiar cuisine. Now we're gonna test that out. 
with some more beer, of course. See you there. Well, they just brought me pork barbecue with fried onion wedges and some, some sort of salad. But I also found out what borscht is actually made of. Borscht is made of red beetroot and cabbage. They boil it and it turns out to be amazingly delicious. I'm gonna dig into this, see how the meat is. Very tender and delicious. To wash it down, according to Russian tradition, with vodka. That was good. I will definitely remember this small but cozy city. I can without a doubt say that it received me quite well. But for me, the BMP has stolen my attention completely. And trust me, I totally didn't expect what was awaiting for me the next day. <laughs>